Have you ever wondered what a day in the life of a social media influencer looks like? I gotta tell you, it, there's a little bit more involved than just doing a couple of dance TikToks and taking pictures of my food. There's actually a lot of work that goes into this. So I thought it would be really fun for you to hang out with me for a day and let me show you what a day in my life as a social media influencer looks like. So here's what Tuesday looked like. So to give you a little idea about what my social media platform consists of, I have um, over a million followers and I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. I have a blog, I have a Poshmark account, and I I'm an Amazon influencer, and I'm also a sober coach for an app called Lived. So I have, I think that's all of them, Yes, I believe that's all of them, but I have, that is my platform, that's my business, and that is what I work on daily. So with that in mind, let's just jump right in and let me show you what a typical day looks like for me. So my day typically starts between 6.30 and seven o'clock. And as you can see here, it my work day starts the minute I wake up. I go and I grab myself some coffee and I get right to work. What I like to do during this time is I check on my TikTok, my Instagram, and my YouTube. And at this opportunity, I respond to as many comments as I can because it's really important for me to try to engage with my community as much as possible. I also take this opportunity to check my Poshmark account and my Amazon influencer account. Then the last thing I do before I actually get up and start moving around is I will write out a schedule for what TikToks and what reels I'm gonna be doing. And then I also write out my plan for my next YouTube. So this all happens between the hours of seven o'clock and at nine o'clock. And once nine o'clock hits, I make myself stop working and I move on with my day. So at nine o'clock, I'm out of bed and I've given myself a, a little bit of a workout routine because I have found if I don't do that, I, I just don't move as much as I used to. So what I'll typically do is I'll either go for a short run or I will find something on my Hulu account and I'll do a little um, exercise or yoga here at the house. So it really doesn't matter what I do. I just make sure that I work out for about 30 minutes a day, you know, just to help me get going. And it's a great mental release also. So once I'm showered and all cleaned up, I will do a TikTok and a reel and I'll get those done, published, and then I will move on to a little breakfast. Now what's happened is since I quit working and I'm staying at home all the time, I just don't think that I'm eating as properly as I should. So I'll make sure that I'll have either a yogurt or a smoothie, or in this case, I had a bowl of cereal. And you know what? While I'm eating my cereal or my smoothie, I take the opportunity again just to check on my accounts and to respond as much as possible. So breakfast done and I'm on to my YouTube. I take this opportunity to do all of my editing and get my YouTube scheduled and out for the day. I absolutely love my YouTube and my YouTube absolutely takes up the majority of my time. Out of all of my social media platforms, I have to dedicate more time to YouTube than any of the other ones, but you know what? You guys are worth it, so I'm not complaining. On my podcast that I've been doing with my sons, it's been really cool because we're talking about the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. And it has really kind of um, inspired me to start some healthy habits. And one of the habits that I've started doing is, is I take a break in the afternoon for at least 15 to 30 minutes. And at that time, I just sit outside, I hang out with Liberty, I have a little snack, and it just kind of gives me an opportunity just to give my brain a rest, give my, my body a rest, and it's been really cool, and I've really enjoyed this a lot. But once that breaks over, it's right back to work. And at this particular time, and it's usually about two o'clock at this point, 
I will package up all the Poshmark items that I have sold and I'll get those ready to drop off at the post office. Now, one thing I always do for my Poshmark is I make sure I do like a little quality control just to make sure that the item is in good condition. I package it up and I always put a handwritten note into all of my um, sold items. I think it's really cool and I really appreciate everybody who has purchased items. So it's just an ex, you know, it's a little extra step, but I really, you know, I like it and I really seem to appreciate it. So and now it's back to checking on my accounts. I'll do a quick check on my TikTok, my Instagram, and again, my YouTube, see how things are going. I'll respond to as many comments as I can. At this particular time, I don't have a whole lot of time set aside to do these comments, but I do what I can. So a quick change of clothes and I'm doing another TikTok. I um, am gonna be heading out for running some errands and it's a little chilly outside. So I put on something a little bit warmer and I'm doing a TikTok here. Now it's off to the post office to drop off that package that I just packed up for Poshmark. In the beginning, I would stand in line and it would take me forever to hand over my package. But with time, I learned that there is a shortcut. So I go straight in with my pre-packaged item and there's this really cool little slot and you just put your package in there and voila your Poshmark has been shipped and it takes literally two minutes. So today I got to actually treat myself to a facial and again it's I think self-love and self-care is super important. Here we are at my favorite spot. I do come here once a month for a facial and I absolutely love it. It just gives me an hour just to lay there, have a little self-pampering and um, I gotta tell you, even just waiting for the facial, I already can feel myself relaxing and just kind of unwinding. So again, self-care, super important. I hope you do something for yourself. So what I do is a rotation. I do a rotation of a, a light chemical peel, a microdermabrasion, and then I just do a regular facial. So I do those once a month and I rotate those out. And again, like I said, it just kind of gives me an hour to just relax. It's my self-care, it's my self-love moment, and I absolutely love it. At this point, I'm starving. So I head on over to my favorite Mexican restaurant, forgetting that it was Tuesday. So I pull into the parking lot and I'm like, why is there so many people here at this time of day? It's a Wednesday. Then I look at my phone, I'm like, oh no, it's a Tuesday. So it was Taco Tuesday and it was crowded, but you know what? I grabbed my food and I'm looking forward to eat because you know I am starving by this point. I head home and you know what? I can't quite eat yet because I have this little beautiful thing right here that needs her afternoon walk. I mean, look at this face. How can you deny this face her walk? Now, Liberty's 13 years old and we don't walk very far, but we do do a nice little walk every single day. I have to tell you, the difference I've seen in her since I've started taking her for her little walks has been amazing. She seems to have a better pep in her step and she definitely has more energy. So if this doesn't convince you to get out there and do some sort of exercise, I don't know what will because I mean, look how cute she is. And like I said, she is 13 and every once in a while she forgets what she's doing and I have to remind her that we're going for a walk, but we do this every single day. Now, I know I said that I do this for Liberty, but you know, I do a lot of it for me too, because again, um, it just kind of gives me that mental break and it helps me determine that I'm going into the evening hours. And even though I'm not gonna quit working, I kind of slow down a little bit and it's just my signal to do that. It's probably not the best habit, but I do sit down and I have my little tray right there, my little working tray. I put something on the TV and I just relax and I'm gonna have my Mexican food and just watch some Netflix. So with dinner over, I get right back to work. And what I do is I go back and I check my accounts again. I check on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, see how they're doing, see if there's any comments I need to respond to. I try to do a good maybe 10 minutes of just responding to people who have commented on my videos. And then I get right to work listing items into my Poshmark for sale. Now I have a goal of anywhere between five to 10 items a day listed into my 
into my Poshmark account. And so long as I can get somewhere in that range, I feel like I've had a successful day. So once the items are listed for sale in the Poshmark, I start winding down even more. You know, I got my um, computer put away and I'll just kind of sit there again. I check my accounts. I got to tell you, my community is so important to me. I just I don't like not responding to comments. I can't respond to all of them, but I can respond to as many as possible to make me know that I am at least trying. And here I am where I started the day. Now at this point, this is more just me time. I, you know what, I look at clothes, I look at fashion, I might read the news, I check um, on the internet. I love just following other people on their social media accounts. And this is a time for me just to kind of drop in and just have a moment to myself. It's been a good day, it's been a, a very productive day, and you know what, I deserve 10, 15 minutes of just me time before I call it a night and start all over again the next day. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, I absolutely love what I do. I love creating my platform. I love what my platform is all about. I love that I represent people just being okay with themselves. I love to hear when people say I inspire them to wear what they want, to get a tattoo, to buy Doc Martens. You know, just knowing that what I'm producing is helping somebody else is just amazing. And it is an honor and a privilege for me to be able to do that on a daily basis on all of my platforms and here on YouTube. So I always thank you at the end of every video and I wanna thank you now because without you, I could not be doing what I'm doing and I absolutely love what I'm doing. So as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, by all means, please hit that like button. If you'd like to stick around and see what I'm gonna talk about next, please hit subscribe. I would love if you would follow me on any of my social media links down below. Um, you can pick whichever ones you want. And if you have any comments or questions or concerns about today's episode, please leave that down below. And if you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave those down below also. So until next time, remember, tell yourself something kind, wear what you want, and I will see you on the next episode.